Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I'm presenting part of my last research on BIM, IoT, and BMS. And today I will show that how we can create a low-cost and user-friendly digital twin platform. Uh, as you know, the scientists categorize the technological progress as industrial revolutions. The first one happened because of using the steam power in, 18, in 17th century. The second one, one because of the mass production and using electrical energy. The third one was because of automation. And now we are in the fourth one, which is related to IoT and using cyber physical systems. Uh, as you know, digital twin is, is a cyber physical system and actually it is the digital replica of the physical model. It provides the bidirectional connection between the physical asset and the virtual asset in a real time status. So it has three main pillars, the cloud, the IoT and the model. It can be used for visualization, live asset monitoring, data storing and analysis, simulation, automation, and prediction in different industries. As we talked, uh, IoT is one of the main pillars, and the aim is to connect all devices to the internet. This connection can be human to human, machine to machine, and human to machine. And for sure, they can be used in different uh, industries, such as transportation, uh, building, agriculture, health, and so on. The last part of the digital twin ecosystem is cloud computing. And the aim is to delegate some of the tasks such as storage, analysis, and so on to the internet. Different services such as uh, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, which are IAS, PAAS, and SAAS respectively. And uh, in different uh, service models, some of the tasks are being done by vendor and some of the tasks are being done by customer. Now let's see how we can create a digital twin uh, model and use these uh, concepts. The case study, the Kashina Nozedo uh, that I work on, it's a project that located in the southeast of uh, Milan. Uh, the history back to 14th century, but recently the municipality of Milan decided to redevelop this area uh, for artistic and recreational activities, and it should be done in sustainable and uh, a sustainable manner with low energy consumption. So as objective of my research, I have to monitor the indoor light status, uh, automate the windows openings uh, for using the maximum and uh, optimized daylighting, and finally, all of them uh, should be done through the digital twin platform, which should be low cost and user friendly. There are different solutions and honestly, a very powerful one uh, offered by Siemens, Bentley, IBM, and so on. But maybe uh, most of them are very uh, efficient in mega projects and need expertise. So especially in medium and small projects, uh, they are kind of expensive and require more expertise uh, for the users. So for this project, I decided to design my own platform. Uh, accordingly, I use Autodesk Revit, which is common software in AEC industry uh, as an integration platform, and it's not necessary to buy extra license. As you know, the Google Sheets is easy and free accessible. Uh, even through the tablets and cell phones, and it's used as database. Also for creating a plugin for Autodesk Revit, uh, the Python and PyRevit, which are powerful object-oriented programming languages are used. Finally, the Raspberry Pi and related sensors and actuators are used as a low-cost devices. So my study has two parts. First, we want to reflect the light status which is environmental data from physical model to the virtual model and also in the second part we want to send some comments which are the rotation angles of the openings from virtual model to the physical model let's go for the first part for this process you have to create a bim model after that uh, we have to define the rooms that uh, our light sensors are installed then the Raspberry Pi should be prepared for uh, in case of hardware, operating system, and software. Uh, also, after that, uh, the light sensor can be connected, and those telemetry data 
can be transferred to Google Sheets uh, via Python and Google Sheets API. And then, can be, uh, then they can be stored in local CSV file uh, through Python scripting. And finally, the BIM model in Autodesk Revit can, be, can give this uh, data and modify the BIM model through PyRevit scripting. In the first step, the BIM model of the project was developed with LOD 300, and today we focus on, on the main building. About the hardware in this section, uh, I use the LDR sensor, which can uh, collect and sense the environmental light status, and it can connect to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a single board computer, which, has, uh, which means that it has ability of processing, storage, and so on. And the main feature is its uh, GPIO port, general purpose input and output port, which allow us to connect different sensors and motors. Accordingly, I have created uh, a plugin. The name is Digital Twin. After installation, it will be added to Autodesk Revit ribbon. It has two main panels, the receiving and sending. We will talk about the sending panels in the next section. Uh, by pushing the lighting status button in receiving a panel, we have the options. By pushing these options and buttons, we can reflect the light status in a real-time status uh, into the virtual model. In summary, this plugin is very user-friendly because just by pushing two or three buttons, we can have the real-time uh, data. It can update the room parameters such as light status and the date of updating. And uh, also it can uh, change the uh, presentation of the room and the transparency of the room and color will be changed based on the light intensity from transparent to gray based on the light intensity. And all of them are being done in a real time status. For the second part, uh, for getting the comments from virtual models to the physical model. For this part, you have to follow this process. First, uh, after uh, creating the BIM model and creating the parametric family of the window, you have to prepare the Raspberry Pi and also the stepper motor can be connected. Now it's ready to define the scenarios about how we want to open and close the windows and how we want to automate this uh, process. After that, uh, the consequence of selecting the scenario, which are the rotation angles of the rules, can, uh, are saved in local CSV wide through PyRevit scripting. And then they will be transferred to Google Sheets through Python scripting and Google Sheets API. Finally, the stepper motor can give these comments for rotating in a physical and a real model. Uh, we can see the stepper motor and the Raspberry Pi that are being used here. It's the parametric family of the window that can adjust the louvers angles, louver uh, distances, and the number of required uh, louvers. And some of these features are more than requirement of this study, but they can be used in future research. We have two main scenarios for opening and closing the windows, summer mode and winter mode. In summer, it's desirable for the users that the louvers locate perpendicular to the sun direction. It provides the desirable environment inside. And also in winter, it's reverse, and it should be parallel to the sun direction, direction to allow the maximum entrance of the sunlight. Uh, we have uh, the digital twin again tab, and by pushing the Windows automation, uh, we have the option and scenarios for opening and closing. We talked about these scenarios, and. Two of them are summer mode and winter mode. Uh, in summer, it's very user-friendly and it can automate uh, the current louver's position. It can automatically define the exact sum position based on the real-time data and the exact sum position. Uh, it can calculate the required rotation angle based on the selected scenario and uh, update the BIM model. And finally, it can, it can transfer to the Raspberry Pi for acting in a, uh, in a real model. Uh, for testing this process, I created the physical uh, prototype, and we can uh, then we will show. I will show you the functionality of that, and the Raspberry Pi, the stepper motor, and the light sensor are installed in that. Let's see how this plugin and this process can be worked. The aim is to create a digital twin model of this project, and uh, we want to reflect as we talked. 
The indoor light status as, as an environmental data from the physical model to the virtual model and also send some comments from virtual model to the physical model, which are uh, the rotation angles of the louvers. For the first part, creating the, getting the room light status uh, through, Py, uh, through Python scripting, uh, we send the telemetry data to the Google Sheets and transfer them to, uh, through PyRevit and Python to the Autodesk Revit model. Consider that the in the environment, the light is not enough and our virtual model doesn't have any information in parameters. By using the digital twin tab and using the lighting status button, we can see that the real-time data, which is uh, the light status will be presented in the separated windows and also the parameters value will be updated. And the presentation of the room is changed from transparent to gray because now the light is not enough and uh, it will be presented as gray. Again, if the model in the virtual, in the physical model, the light intensity goes up and we run again the plugin, we can see in a real time status, the data changed in the separated window in a parameters value and also the uh, transparent, uh, it, it's uh, presenting, presenting as transparent. For second part, for sending some comments from virtual model to the physical model. Through PyRevit and Python scripting, we send this data to the Google Sheets and also transfer them to the physical model through Python scripting and Raspberry Pi. If we select the window and run the plugin Windows Automation button, we have some option. For example, if we select the winter mode, we, ex we expect that the louvers rotate to, to be located to parallel to the sun direction. And as you can see at the same time, in the virtual model and physical model is done. Now we can select another scenario. For example, the summer mode, and we expect the louvers change to be perpendicular to the sun direction. Now we can see that in the virtual model and physical model, it's being done. And finally, we can close the window. And again, the rotation angles will be calculated and it sends to virtual model and in the physical model. So uh, in a simple way and in a low cost way, we present uh, that how we can uh, make a digital twin platform and use in different fields. Thank you for your consideration and time.